It's Where'd Your Money Go? with your host, Charles Barkley. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello. This is Charles Barkley. Hey there, pro athletes, and welcome to Where'd Your Money Go? where we try to teach financial security to some of the world's most ignorant millionaires. <laughs> Look, I'm not making judgments. If I manage my money well, I damn sure wouldn't be hosting a game show. <laughs> All right, let's meet our contestants. First, we got an all-star tight end for the New England Patriots worth $15 million. It's Rob Gronkowski. What's up, bro? <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, you're a football player, and your body is your paycheck. But once a year, you trash it on a cruise called Gronk's Party Ship. So awesome. Just me, my five brothers, 800 friends doing lemon drop shots, wearing huge sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're like if Dave and Busters was a person. <laughs> uh, next, we got a man who wears $10,000 suits and just bought a $350,000 Rolls Royce. UFC fighter, Conor McGregor. Charles, I'm not going broke, so you can take your patronizing tone and show it up your arse! <laughs> All right, I know you're not broke now, but let me ask you a question. How many high school friends work for you? Six. Yeah, you better get yourself a Roth IRA, Conor. You know what that is? Yeah, I've been in the IRA since Protestants moved into my neighborhood. <laughs> And finally, <laughs> a golfer who's lost $90 million over the past 15 years, he's currently ranked 991st in the world, it's John Daly. I'm still in playing shape, man. I'm loose as a goose. <laughs> yeah, you're playing golf. It's the only professional sport where people carry your stuff. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our Where Your Money Go categories. They're the usual four. I spit it. <laughs> I sniffed it. I lost it. She took it. Okay, the game is simple. I'm gonna throw out some scenarios, and the answer to every one of them is no. You got it? Okay, good. Brock, I'm gonna let you pick first. Awesome, bro. Let's go with the spin it. Okay, the first question in that category. Buy a cheetah. Scenario. You're looking for a pet, but the seller warns you that this pet might eat your family. <laughs> Do you still buy it? <laughs> Gronk. Hell yeah, cheetah would be awesome, bro. I put sunglasses on and feed it Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Gronk, let's try to remember the rules. The answer is always no. John Daly. Hell, I'll buy that son of a bitch. He could be buddies with my shark. <laughs> That is incorrect. Once again, the answer is always no. Remember, if you own an animal that used to belong to a drug dealer or a Middle Eastern dictator, that's a red flag. Okay, pick again, Grunk. Let's move to I lost it. Okay, the question there. Own a restaurant. Scenario. A man in a nightclub wants you to invest in an Asian fusion restaurant. Even though you have absolutely no restaurant experience and you don't know what Asian fusion even is, do you do it? Grok. Absolutely, bro. Write him a check. Wings all day. <laughs> Grok, this is about investing. Do you know what that is? Yeah, dude. I just invested $2 million in solo cups. Oh, okay. Then how'd you do that? Buy a buttload of solo cups. <laughs> uh, Grok, I think you've eaten too many wings. Your head is full of thigh meat. <laughs> Anybody else here know how to invest? Hell yeah, man. I just launched my own alcoholic sports drink. It's called Smirnoff Sport. <laughs> Smirnoff Sport? It's just blue vodka. <laughs> <laughs> invest. Pfft. Why should I invest in some silly bank for years when I can go to Vegas and double my money in an hour? All I do is win, Charles. Okay, last time you went to Vegas, what happened? I lost. <laughs> kind of gambling is an addiction. I still have my issues myself. Yesterday, I bet Michael Jordan $10,000 that I'd get a hole in one. The odds of that are fairly long, man. I know, especially because we was playing poker. <laughs> Brock, nobody got it, so why don't you pick again? Score over the... She took it. Okay, the question there, 
trust a stripper. <laughs> Scenario. <laughs> a stripper you just met follows you home, sits you down, and then says, put on this blindfold and count to 1,000. <laughs> do you do it? I'm going to give you a hint. You don't do it. <laughs> Connor. I like that. She's freaky, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bloody go for it. No. You angry little leprechaun. <laughs> Remember, there's only one answer. Anybody else? Gronk. That sounds like a trick question. Nobody can count to a thousand, so I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Gronk, you know the rules when it comes to strippers. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, my wife senses a pattern. <laughs> oh, man, this is terrible. I really believe that you guys will get at least one question. Sorry we let you down, bro. No, no, it's not just me. Personally, I bet the Phoenix Suns gorilla that one of you will get one answer right. And now I'm down $50,000. Okay, let's just take a break. When we come back on Where's Your Money Go, we will ask, Cocaine, is it your friend? No, it's your family. Hey, now you said it. You said it, John Daly.